Hi, you're joined today by myself, Nasser Ishfaq. We're going to be looking at how to do a photo align in Adobe Photoshop. It's a really useful tool for architects who are always going around making large images and taking images of landscapes. This is just a really quick way of how to organize your images and get them all in line so you can start drawing up your sections. First of all, we need to open up our images, and these are some that I took earlier on. Uh, this is just a typical uh, road in Liverpool. So what I've done, as I went down the street, I just took image after image after image to then build up my section. So now what I do, I open them all up. And now once they're going to open all up, then we'll make a new page, uh, a single page, and then we can arrange them all on there. So as you can see, there's lots of different images of the buildings, and it's just sections, sections, and sections all the way down. So the next thing we need to do is file new. And then on the new page, I'm going to make it slightly longer so we can fit them all on. Just click OK. Here we go. And we have one large page to which you can start dragging and dropping on. So if you just click on the select tool, uh, and then that allows drag in. And then what, what I'll do just to save some of the memory is after I've done each one, I'll just close off that page so I don't end up putting the same image, image in twice. So just to zoom in so you can all see, just a simple drag and drop. This is re works really well in CS3. It's a really useful tool. Now this can be done for all sorts of images. I mean, the way I did it this time is that I went down the street taking all the images. Usually if you want to do like a panoramic view, they'll just stand in one point and take several images. There's another way of using the tool uh, to make those images into a single uh, long image of your whole landscape. And there you go, that's the last one in. So, we'll just close that down. Open up the page. Now, now what we need to do, we need to select all the layers and then if we go into edit, go into auto align layers and just zoom in so you can see. There we are. Now you have several options, you have perspective, cylindrical and reposition only. Now because I went down taking several images, I'm going to use reposition only. If I'd done a panoramic view, then I'd probably choose perspective because that'll put it into a single flat image. Now you have to keep this in mind when you're taking the pictures because that'll dictate what sort of tool you use. So let that run in the script. Now as you can see, it looks a little strange in the corner and that's because one of the images doesn't really match up with any of the others, so I've just selected one of them that's wrong. So what I'll do is I'll deselect that, move them across. There you go, just deselected that one. And just pull them all across and I'll just align it up manually with a single image that's not been done. So it just takes a little bit of eye work and also CS3 really helps here because when you have two images that are similar it'll automatically start telling you where it's aligned up and where it's not aligned up so that's a really good useful tool and we'll just delete off the extra image we just go into the layer, right click uh, we'll show it off and then you can right click and delete so that's just turned it off but we really would just want to get rid of it because this will help us reduce our file sizes later so if just delete layer and there we go and we just have the ones left that we want So we just align it so we can go right there in the middle of the screen. Now there's another tool that we can use that will actually make this into a single image because at the moment we've got several images that are overlaid. Uh, it's not so much of a problem but when you start wanting to uh, change the transparency of some layers and so on and so forth your image can start looking very strange. So what we'll do, we'll do auto blend layers and what this does is that it makes it into one flat image so all the images that were there that you know there's part of one underneath, part of one under another it gets rid of all those and selects the, the most perfect section of each of the layers to then use. And just to show you what's actually happened here if I select one of the layers and I'll just zoom in so you can see what's going on. If I use the keys on my keypad and move it left, as you can see there's a line that's coming across, the white line showing the background. That's because the actual image has been cut out part of it. 
so it all joins together to make one perfect image. And there we go, and that's all from me today, and next time we'll show you some more useful tools to use on Adobe Photoshop. Thank you very much, you've been listening to Nasser Ishfaq, guiding you along your way.